Okay, this is how to use an old version of Windows Movie Maker if you have an old PC that has that kind of bar at the bottom. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, um, I picked the dummy, the dumbest video I could think of as an example. So yeah. First, you're going to need a camera, obviously, or some video that you have and you will need a some kind of cord to connect it so that it can act as a USB and it goes into your computer so yeah so once you have it saved and you have the video that you want um, just create a new folder and click copy on the video that you want and paste it into that folder and then just import it. And you do that by opening up Windows Movie Maker and clicking on import video. Yeah. So, then it'll probably break it up into parts if it's a longer video. So you can just literally drag this right down here. And let's watch the beginning. Okay. Very beginning. Oh wait. How to dance. How to dance. That's how to dance. So yeah, I thought of the dumbest thing I could possibly do. Then... <coughs> yeah, so you make a mistake. Or more than just one. want to edit it out, Not you can. Oh. Yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, look at where it went wrong. And that was, well, I mean, obviously it was horrible the entire video, but pretty much from where I fell. <gasps> yeah, right there. So, like, probably right when I'm done dancing, because that's all I want them to see. And then that. So, right there, you delete, well, you delete this. And, um, because we don't want the, all of this. <gasps> what the heck? Okay. You want it right when I'm done dancing, which is there. So, there's a nice um, deleting tool. You just drag it. And then it shows you um, where it is. So, if you move it right or left, it shows you the frame. So, yeah. Now, let's see the video so far. How to dance. That's how to dance. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, obviously it's still very bad, but um, now we're going to click on make titles or credits. You say at the beginning, and like how to her dance. Okay, then it will show up there, and you can um, change the font and the color to whatever you want. I'm not really going to get in too specific about that, but yeah, probably something that you can read, like Rockwell. Yeah. And then you can also change the color of the text and the background color or whatever. And then the animation. Um, if you're going for a title, say go under this one line. Um, if you go under two lines, then it's gonna. Well. Oh yeah, don't do credits, cause then it'll. Yeah, that's for the end. So yeah. So yeah, you can mess around with those. Yeah. 
So, um, let's just go with that one, the back of it, because I'm not really taking time on this. Um, and then, um, at the end, missing credits, like, um, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to, it's hard to type with one hand, <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching or whatever, and then, just, yeah, and you can even mess around with that animation, like, paired credit, zoom in, like, you could do that, and then, thanks for watching, yeah, there's, uh, you can mess around with that, I'm just gonna go, basic here and now with the effects um, this is really cool I, when you're done working with the timeline just go to the storyboard um, you can edit effects like if you wanna speed it up just drag this and bring it down to here and then click play so you can see how it is. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you could do that. Um, that would be pretty funny. But you could also um, mess around with all these. There's quite a few. You can make it brighter, even. Or, you could rotate it. How to dance? And that would look pretty weird. So yeah, just mess around with whatever effects you want. I don't know, for the heck of it, I'll just... I'll just go with sepia tone. Yeah, just for that good, I'm gonna go with sepia tone. Because I want to show some effect. So, view video transitions would be the next thing. And that's what goes here and here. So, like checkerboard if you, let's just say this is what it looks like like yeah and then you could I don't know do a diagonal cross here so yeah I did forget to mention how to save it which is very important save to my computer or you could save it to CD email whatever but to be basic save it to your computer and then you could browse like you can browse which file you want to save it to I'm just saving it to my videos so yep. save next and yeah best quality I don't know why you wouldn't check that <laughs> yeah and it does take a while so oh well I guess not too long but I don't want to make you wait so I'll just time travel don't you just love time travel okay so once it's done say yeah probably gonna want to have that checked play movie when I click finish so yeah how to dance That's how to dance. So yeah, um, I hope this helped. And then um, if you're posting it to YouTube or whatever, you can just um, click upload and then find your file where it's saved. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.